Hello and welcome to this tutorial HTML5 JavaScript on arrays. Uh, what I've got here is here's my browser which is Google Chrome and right now I see the blue uh, square. If I left click it now changes to red. Left click again changes to orange. Left click green. Left click gray. Left click sort of a tan. Left click back to blue. So I'm clicking my left mouse button and as I do you can see that the square is changing colors. Okay so let's look at the code and see how we did this. Let me bring this guy up here and we'll come down here. The first thing I have is I have down here my standard script for making the original red uh, blue square. Okay and we should be familiar with that now. What I've got here in the body tag of the body element, I've got on click change color, which of course is calling a function. The function is calling is right up here. And there it is. That's the function with the function definition. And let's look at the new stuff that's up here. What I've got up here is I've got a line here, a statement that says uh, a variable colors equals new array and new is lowercase array starts with a capital A and it has the parentheses there an array means an arrangement and what I'm doing is I'm taking the the uh, identifier uh, variable colors and I'm going to make an arrangement and the arrangement I'm going to make of colors is this I'm going to have the first uh, arrangement be red I'm going to have the second arrangement be orange, the third one be green, the fourth one be gray, the fifth one be tan, and the sixth one be blue. The thing is, is that arrangements, this is really counted as array zero. It starts with zero, really. So array zero is red, array one is orange, array two is green, array th uh, three is gray, and array four is tan, array five is blue. Now, I've got a counter here that says variable counter, so I'm setting the counter to zero. So here's the first my canvas fill style. My canvas fill style colors is going to be inside the the, the left uh, the the left uh, part here and and the right part. It's going to be the value of counter, and counter is going to be zero. So effectively, it's going to be colors sub zero is uh, going to be the first one, which is red. And the plus plus after counter means that once I use the value of counter, increment it by one. That's what the plus plus means. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to fill the rectangle. And the rectangle is going to be filled with colors sub zero, which happens to be the first element of the array, which is red. Okay. Now, I go through here each time and every time I, I call the function change color, that is every time I click a left mouse button, this gets incremented by one. Now if the value of counter is greater than five, it means I've run out of my colors now because sub five is actually blue since I start at sub zero for red. So if the counter is greater than five, reset the counter to zero. And so when I reset it to zero, it'll go back from blue to red, and then orange, green, gray, tan, blue, and then red again. So this is called an array, which means an arrangement. These are the values that I can put inside my array. Array elements are now expressed by a, a number, like color sub zero, color sub one, color sub two. Uh, a variable plus plus means that after I use that variable, go ahead and increment it by one. And of course, being able to do something like this is a very powerful feature in HTML5, especially when it comes to uh, using it with games. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.